Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when Chivalry 2 game is not launching, crashing or if you are receiving Unreal Engine crash, fatal error or paging issue on computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. So just restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to repair easy anti-cheat. For this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game select manage then go to browse local files this will straight away take you to the game installation folder now over here you will find easy anti-cheat game folder so make a double click and here you can see easy anti-cheat setup.exe make the right click then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then click on repair or service click on repair service and once this is done launch the game now still you are facing the problem then this time make a right click then click on run as administrator then click on yes to allow and then this time click on uninstall and then click on install easy anti-cheat and then click on finish now launch the game now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I am showing for NVIDIA. On NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list. So make sure that you select the right graphic card. So select your graphic card over here. In my case, I have selected my graphic card. You select your graphic card and then select the right operating system from here. In my case, it's Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11, then click on Start Search. Now, once you click on Start Search, scroll down. The top one is generally GeForce Game Ready Driver. Right now, it is showing NVIDIA Studio Driver. So, I will download GeForce Game Ready Driver. This is the latest one. So, on the top, you might see GeForce Game Ready Driver. So, download the latest version. So click on get download and then once the download is complete, run this exe file. Click on yes to allow and then click on ok and let the process complete. Now click on agree and continue and then select the option which says custom and then click on next. Now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. So put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete. Now after the installation, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to is for Steam users, close Epic Games Launcher. So if Epic Games Launcher is up and running, you can close Epic Games Launcher, make a right click then click on exit and then launch the game. Now still you are facing the problem, in that case you can uninstall Epic Games Launcher. And this is for Steam users only. So uninstall Epic Games Launcher and then launch the game. For this, type in Epic or you can go to Start Menu then click on Settings. Click on Apps and then in the search box type in Epic Games Launcher. And then click on it and then click on Uninstall. And then again click on Uninstall. Also uninstall Epic Online Service, click on uninstall, uninstall. Now after the uninstallation, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now again the next step is for Steam users. Now first of all close Epic Games Launcher and then launch the game or uninstall it. But still you are facing the problem then run Epic Games Launcher when launching the game from Steam. So Sometimes running Epic Games Launcher while launching the game also takes care of the problem. So open Epic Games Launcher and then launch the game from Steam. Now if you don't have Epic Games Launcher installed then you can go to this website, go to this link and download Epic Games Launcher from here and then run Epic Games Launcher and then launch the game from Steam. Now the next step is to put DX 11 this is again for steam users so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties now in launch option type in dash dx11 and then launch the game 
If that does not work, make a right click once again, select properties and this time type in dash dx12 and then launch the game. Now the next step is for Windows 7 users, put x input underscore 4 dot dll in system32 folder. For this, go to file explorer, then go to this PC, open C drive, now open Windows folder, now find system32 folder, now over here, find x input folder, file, I'm sorry. So in Windows 7, you will find x input one underscore three dot dll. So you can copy this and then you can paste it to desktop. And then you can rename this file as x input one underscore instead of three, put number four over here. So x input one underscore four dot dll. Now copy this file and then paste it to system32 folder. So make a right click then click on paste. In my case, I already have this file x input one underscore four dot dll. So click on paste. So paste this file. Once you have this file, now launch the game. Now if you don't have x input one underscore three dot dll, in that case you can get this file uh, from another computer. So if, if you have another computer, in system32 folder you might find x input one underscore three you can rename it to x input one underscore four dot dll and paste it over here or you can from another computer you can simply copy this file and paste it in your computer now the next step is to launch the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files and again it will take you to the game installation folder make a right on game launcher file select properties and then go to compatibility and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator put a check then click on apply ok also make a right click on shipping.exe select properties again go to compatibility put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply ok now open tbl folder now open binaries folder win64 and then again make a right click on this exe file properties compatibility put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply ok now try launching the game from the game installation folder so instead of launching the game from steam make a double click over here and then try to launch the game from here or you can make a double click over here and then launch the game from here or you can go to TVL binaries win64 and then make a double click and then try launching the game from game installation folder and check. Now the next step is to disable steam overlay for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. Now also close all the overlay applications so if you have discord running close discord. Now, if you have GeForce Experience running, close GeForce Experience. So close all the overlay application. Next step is to verify the game file. For this, make a right click on the game, select properties. Now go to the local files tab, then click on verify integrity of game files. And after the verification, launch the game. Now, the next step is to close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI after burner running, close MSI after burner. Now, if you have Reva Tuner running, close Reva Tuner and then launch the game. So, close all the overclocking application. Also, perform clean boot for this. Type in system configuration in Windows search box, then click on system configuration. Now, go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. So, put a check over here and then click on disable all. In my case, this is grayed out. I already did it in your case this would be highlighted so click um, just put a check over here and then click on disable all then click on apply ok and then you will see the restart option restart a computer and then launch the game next step is to install visual C++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to Microsoft website scroll down here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 Download x86 and x64 versions. So click on both the exe file one by one and then run both the exe file. 
Now you might see install option, so click on install. If you see the repair option, click on repair. Click on yes. Run, uh, run the second file as well. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see install option, click on install. And let the installation complete. Now after the installation, you, you will see the restart option. Make sure both the installation is complete. Once both the installation is complete, click on restart. And after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party and, uh, antivirus, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you are using Windows security, then go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now if you have Windows 11, click on privacy and security. You will see privacy and security option, click on privacy and security. In Windows 10, click on update and security. And then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection and then click on manage ransomware protection. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Now click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. In, in your case it might be in C drive so open C drive then open program files x86. Now open the steam folder. Now open the steam apps folder. Now open the common folder over here you will find the game folder in my case it's in E drive so open steam folder steam apps then open the common folder now open the chivalry 2 folder now select the game exe file select the launcher then click on open and once the game is added over here again click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps this time select win64 shipping.exe click on open again click on add and load app then click on browse all apps and then open tbl folder now open binaries win64 select the game exe file and then click on open and then now launch the game now the next step is for laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you are running the game on dedicated graphic card for this type in graphics settings in windows search box And then click on browse go to this pc again open open the steam folder again so wherever wherever the game is installed in my case it's in e drive steam folder steam apps common and then open chivalry 2 folder select the launcher then click on add once this is added click on options high performance save now again click on browse this time select shipping.exe add then options high performance save again browse this time open tbl folder binaries win64 select this exe and then click on add now once the game is added click on options high performance save and now launch the game now the next step is to update your windows make sure your windows is up to date this is important so go to the start menu then click on settings now click on update and security if you have windows 11 click on up windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed click on download and install and once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then launch the game next up is to lower down graphics settings so for this first of all launch the game so if you are able to launch the game launch the game first now go to settings and then go to options now go to video now if full screen is selected you can select window mode and then lower down resolution so you can if 4k is selected you can try 1920 into 1080 and you can even lower down your resolution more and then if vsync is enabled disable vsync and then check also if video quality is set to epic you can select high and then you can even try medium or you can lower down select low and then check the performance 
Now the next step is to disconnect multiple monitors. So if you have multiple monitors set up, try launching the game on single monitor. So disconnect multiple monitor. Unplug all the external USB devices which you are not using. So disconnect all the external devices. So if you have these devices connected, disconnect it and then launch the game. Also if you have these softwares running, close these software and then launch the game. Now if you have ASUS computer, then make a right click on the start menu, then click on task manager. Now under the process tab, if you have ASUS computer, so you might find this Nahimic services running. So I don't have ASUS computer, I don't have this service running. So if you find Nahimic services running, select it, then click on end task. This is just an example. So select Nahimic services, select it, then click on end task. Now if you have lighting services running, so if you you also find lighting services running select lighting services and then click on end task and then launch the game also remove the undervolt so if you have undervolted your hardware remove the undervolt and then launch the game now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so make a right click on the start uh, make a right click on the game and then select manage then click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart the computer and after the system restart, reinstall the game to different drive. So if you have another SSD or HDD, try installing the game to different drive and then launch the game. So one of the steps should help you to get the game running. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.